Hello, St Mary Abbots. Welcome to our weekly assembly. We're continuing, as we have done over the last few weeks, to think about the great Christian saints of the faith, and this week we're thinking about Bernard Mizecki, who we celebrate this Thursday. Bernard Mizecki was born in Mozambique at about the same time that St Mary Abbot's church was built, about 150 years ago. He moved from Mozambique to South Africa and then again from South Africa to Zimbabwe, where he spent most of his life. He learned about Christianity in South Africa and he became a Christian there. And when he went to Zimbabwe, he decided that he wanted to teach other people about Christianity. He learned lots of languages, he translated the Bible into lots of different languages and he taught lots of people. So we remember him as a great teacher. We're going to begin, as we do each week, therefore, with a hymn that's all about teachers and our giving thanks for those who have taught us. And you'll find, as usual, the words below the video in the description so that you can join in at home. We thank you, God, for teachers who help us learn your way who show by their example how we can serve and pray, who find great joy in worship, who listen with concern, for in their loving witness they help us want to learn. We thank you, God, for children and older people too, who value times of learning and want to grow in you, who seek your precious kingdom and wisdom from above. For wise ones of all ages still seek to learn your love. We thank you, God, for churches that welcome one and all, that nurture every person in answer to Christ's call. So fill us with your Spirit, and give us life anew, that we may help each other live faithfully in you. Bernard Mazecki was an extraordinary man. He learnt Portuguese when he moved to South Africa, as well as the languages that he'd learnt growing up. And while he was in South Africa, he also learnt English and French and High Dutch. And from his time in South Africa and the time that he spent in Zimbabwe, he spoke at least another eight local African languages. He was really a very talented man. And he put those talents to good use by helping to teach others, both about languages and also about the scriptures, about the Bible. He translated the Bible into languages that people spoke and read so that they could hear it and read it in their own language. There are lots of people who would never have been able to hear about the stories in the Bible in a language that was familiar to them unless Bernard Mazecki had been there to help do the work of translation. And he was passionate about teaching. That means he really cared, he really loved teaching people. Now, there are lots of people who are teachers. There are the teachers at our school, whose full-time job is to be teachers of classes. And as lots of you will have realised over the last few weeks and months, our parents are teachers as well. Sometimes they take on the role of the teachers at school, like at this time when we've been being taught at home, but they also teach us throughout our lives as well. And sometimes we can be teachers to our friends. And there are other people. Uh, I have a, a role as a teacher, as a priest in a parish. Whether we're professional teachers, like the teachers at school, or whether we're just teachers who are teachers because we tell other people things that we know, 
teaching is one of the most important things that we can do because it means that we get to share and to pass on the things that we know with other people and it means that everybody gets to know more things and I reckon the more things that the more people know the more better. Ooh, sounds like I need an English teacher to help me out with my grammar. So we look for opportunities in our own lives to be teachers, to share the information that we know, and we give thanks for those people who are great teachers. Some like Bernard Mazzecchi, who taught an entire nation, and some like the teachers who have taught us and inspired us and who help us when we find subjects really difficult and hard to get to grips with, and the teachers like our, our parents and carers who teach us things when we're at home, and the people who teach us stuff in the church, and our friends who teach us the things that they know. So this is a, an opportunity to give thanks for everybody who's ever taught us anything, and to ask for opportunities to be teachers for other people too. I'm going to offer a, a prayer now to that effect, and you can make the prayer your own by saying Amen at the end. Father, we give you thanks for your servant Bernard Mazzecchi, who is an inspiration to us as a wise and intelligent man who taught many about the good news of the gospel. We pray for opportunities to be teachers in our own lives, to share the things that we know with other people. And we thank you, Father, for all the people who have been teachers to us, for those who have raised us, for our teachers at school, for friends who have taught us things, for people in the church, for everybody who teaches us more about the world and more about you. We make our prayer in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.